Hey, take a look at this. This entire simulation was made just by using geometry nodes. And if you know just a little about nodes, you know how challenging creating such a thing can be. The thing is, understanding nodes is hard and frustrating. But if you don't, you will miss on a crucial aspect of Blender that will open a new world of possibilities for you. You probably also have seen some of those crazy node trees and wondered, how do you even start doing this? How do I know that? Because I was there. I suffered to find a lot of answers to my questions. By making this course, I'm aiming to make the process of learning simulations in geometry nodes easier and more fun for you. Throughout this course, you won't just learn how to create a physics simulation in Blender. You will literally build your own physics engines inside of geometry nodes. You will learn about the real-life forces that makes our world function the way it is. You will learn about velocity. You will learn about acceleration collision, gravity, and how all of these forces interact with each other, and more. And you will learn all of that by creating this falling balls simulation. I know what some of you might be thinking right now. Hey, Yasin, why would I bother creating a falling ball simulation? I want to learn to create the good stuff like explosions or learn what every node does. Believe me, that would be a terrible approach. As simple as a falling balls might seem like a concept, you will be surprised by the sheer amount of concepts you will learn by just creating the simulation, which makes it the perfect exercise. Being good in simulations is being good in physics, and this course will bridge the gap between both of those and open that door for you. So, if you're interested in learning simulations using geometry nodes in Blender, this course is for you, and I can't wait to see you on the other side. Peace.